Okay, since you're up, let's play a little game full of unexpected. Go ahead and pause the video and push some furniture around in your living room, make some space. I'll wait. Are you ready? We're going to play a game where I'm going to read off some instructions and you're going to try to follow along. It's going to get hard to follow, so listen closely. Okay, here we go. Do three jumping jacks. Reach for the sky. Touch something in the room that's red. Give everyone in the room a high five. Touch your toes. Reach for the sky. Spin in a circle. Sit down. Stand up. Hop on one foot five times. Sit down. Stand up. Give everyone in the room a high five. Spin around in a circle three times. Do three jumping jacks. Sit down. Stand up. Spin around. Sit down. Whew. How'd you do? Were you able to keep up? Okay, so how do you feel? That was hard to do, wasn't it? Hard to keep up with everything. It, we just didn't know what was coming next. We don't know what's coming next in life either. When it comes to this coronavirus, it seems like things are changing every day. But Jesus knows what's coming, and we can trust that he has everything in control. Even if he doesn't do what we expected, he has a plan. His power is unexpected. Okay, we're almost done. So we need to wrap this up. So Jesus doesn't always do what people expect him to do. So when he came and we wanted him to be the king, he, we did not expect him to die, but he did. And then he came back to life, and that was really unexpected. Now Jesus invites us to be part of the heavenly kingdom. So when Jesus' power is unexpected, we can trust that he's doing something for us that's good for us. Take a minute to think about ways that your family has been able to help each other. Or think about maybe somebody outside of your family that's helped. Maybe the nurses or the doctors. Let's talk about now, that. Can you pause me and pray for those people that have been helpful in your life? Thank Jesus for the things he's done already. Okay, pause. Awesome prayers. So now take some paper and some art supplies using crayons or markers or something draw some pictures of some things that Jesus has done for you this last week that have been unexpected don't forget to write the date on that save that and I'll see you next week